the reason why we're doing this video is because you told me a story about working with the asking with your enemies. Right. And I was very impressed and I wanted to share it with the world, that story. So here we are and this is the world. <laughs> there we go, very ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, so open. The door is open. Please begin. Okay, so I did an asking for a situation that I was suffering from. And rather than ask for myself, <clears throat> actually I did the whole ceremony of well-being. Okay, that's It wasn't fine. an asking. Yeah, okay, great. So I did the ceremony of well-being in a situation internally where I was really, really, really afraid and really suffering through the imagination, all sorts of terrible things that could happen to me because there was a situation where I could have been prosecuted, arrested, or, or, or sued for something that would be very hard for me to defend myself against because I didn't have access to the facts and the information that I would have needed. And um, I wasn't here in the States. I was in Argentina. So it could be a very convoluted and very difficult and just mentally just very um, taxing to, to try and figure out. So I knew the person and the situation and I kept getting more and more anxious and feeling more and more, you know, lack of breath <laughs> through the amazing imagination. So I decided to try and work with transforming that image of this person as an enemy. Mm -hmm. And I felt the best way I could do it was, would be by asking for that person, for him, and through a ceremony of well-being, because I knew it had to be sincere for me to be able to work on myself and to feel any sort of relief from this persecution of the imagination, I was going to need to do something very genuine and really felt, well felt. So I did this ceremony of well-being for him and was able to do it sincerely and genuinely and feel strongly and I knew a few situations in his personal life that I had been told by him at one point. So I, you know, I just went through the whole ceremony and very genuinely asked for his well-being and asked for him to feel good. And I knew my reasoning was, so this was to help me, but beyond that, I just felt good about feeling good about him. So it kind of detached me from this incredible identification with him as an enemy. And I found out within very a very small time that they were dropping everything he was, and he was the spearhead of it. He was dropping any sort of persecution or, you know, everything legal and everything. And it was just like, no, it's okay. It's fine. And my takeaway from that is, on one hand, I was able to let go. So beyond the interpretation of why the rest happened, because one cannot really say, you know, because of the ceremony of well-being, this person let go of his anger with me. But one can say that from my own experience, I was able to detach myself emotionally from that fear and from that fear of him and seeing him as an enemy and all the rest. And that was extremely extremely um, beneficial to me. I could get on with my life. But I also believe, for some reason, because it came so quickly, that the resolution had to do with him feeling good. And him feeling good made him well disposed towards other people. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't ask for him to be well disposed towards me. I just f asked for him to feel okay, to, to lift up his, his own emotional well-being 
and to take away a few of his fears and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And you were looking at specific problems in his life, do yeah, you? Yeah, I was yeah. looking at specific things and addressing that. Uh -huh. And having, you know, just what the ceremony of well-being does, it lifts you up. It gives you energy. It gives you a different outlook. And I believe that happened to him. Mm -hmm. Because I never heard a word, too, about any of the stuff. And it could have been pretty, pretty problematic for me. Mm -hmm. And also because he's got the kind of personality that if, you know, he gets the bit in his mouth, he's not going to let it go. Uh -huh. So, you know, even if he's wrong, it doesn't matter. So you can have a problem with that. Sure. <clears throat> that was very, for me, astonishing. Uh -huh. 